Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Louise of solopreneursidekick.com and I put out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday to help you grow your online business. So if that's something that you're looking to do, make sure that you hit subscribe. All right, so in today's video, I wanted to share with you five things that you need to do before you DIY your website. So the first thing you need to do is get super clear on your brand. So that's your vision, your personality, and what makes you different from everyone else doing the same thing as you. So the next thing that you want to have figured out before you DIY your website is your brand visuals. The easiest thing that you can do is create a brand board. So this is a great visual to have and it's going to include your logo, your color palette, your fonts, and more. Here's an example right here. Next, you need to collect your photos. So either you already have lots that you're going to use or you're going to need to do a bit of searching and use free stock photos that you find online. So depending on what you do, this could either be a small or a big job. For example, if you're a wedding photographer, you're going to have tons of images and you need to choose your favorites to use on your website. And keep in mind that you want to convey one particular style. So even though you've probably shot all different kinds of weddings, make sure that there's consistency in the images that you show so that you attract more of that type of client. If you don't have any images yet, don't worry, you don't need to go out and book a professional photo shoot yet. I mean, though those are really fun, so if you wanna do that, absolutely go for it, and it will help your website look more custom. But if you're just getting started, there are these great sites where you can find really natural, non-stock photo looking, um, really great photos that you can use on your site. A few of my favorites are pexels.com and unsplash.com, so definitely give those a try. I'm actually hosting a free challenge coming up soon which is going to help you do this, so if you'd like to join that, make sure that you click the link in the description below. Next, you're going to want to plan out what pages you need. There's nothing worse than trying to DIY your website and just staring at a blank page. So plan this out ahead of time and even write out as much of your content as you can. And finally, you need to have planned out your packages already. So you need to know what it is that you're going to offer, what the price point is, and what is included in all of these packages. So make sure that you figure that out ahead of time so that you're not stuck when you're DIYing your website, you get stuck on the actual content and on your packages. So the best thing to do is get these done ahead of time. So that's it. Those are the five things that you need to do before you DIY your website. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so that you don't miss another video. And I'll see you guys soon.